You're listening to my WorldNet Daily exclusive audio article. Today's WorldNet Daily exclusive audio article is entitled Trump Called the Destruction of Statues Two Years Ago. In August of 2017, less than two years ago, President Trump held a press conference decrying the removal of Confederate statues. Quote, This week it's Robert E. Lee. I notice that Stonewall Jackson is coming down. I wonder, is George Washington next week and is Thomas Jefferson the week after? You really do have to ask yourself, where does it stop, unquote, Trump asked at a Tuesday press conference in 2017. NBC then mockingly wrote of Trump that he gave dire warnings about the potential erasure of the iconic memorials to the country's founding fathers. This was a quote, unquote. Now, where have we heard this? Oh, that's right. From all of us right-wing fear-mongers, all us tinfoil hat-wearing conspiracy theorists. How many of us conservatives have been warning of the slippery slope and have been mocked for doing so? Quote, Is the president right about the impending threats to the founders? Historians who spoke to NBC News said that such fears are slightly misplaced and that Trump is championing a murky interpretation of history. Unquote. Quote, the president can raise the slippery slope, but it's a false slippery slope, quote, unquote, said Kevin Levin, a Boston-based historian who specializes in American Civil War history. Is it really? Well, Mr. Levin, you and all your leftist know-it-all colleagues might want to take a look around because the slippery slope in just the span of 22 months has morphed into a raging torrent. And while you're at it, perhaps you should offer the president a sincere apology, that he was right again, and you were wrong, again, and again, and again. Of course, don't hold your breath. Being a leftist means you never have to say you're sorry, or that you were wrong. And as an aside, I swear, why does anyone still listen to you leftist experts? You literally are wrong about everything. As it turned out, President Trump was both very astute and 100% correct. The only thing he got wrong was the order of which founder would be the first to succumb to the ignorant mob. Thomas Jefferson was actually the first to fall. On the night of June 14th, just days ago, following what else, a Black Lives Matter phony grievance rally, quote, protesters in Portland, Oregon, toppled a statue of Thomas Jefferson, that had stood in front of a high school named after the author of the Declaration of Independence, as riots continued nationwide over the death of George Floyd, unquote, wrote the blaze. Spray-painted on its base were the words, Slave Owner, George Floyd, and BLM. So who's next? Is it Washington, or Madison, or someone else? How many more pieces of history will our feckless officials permit to be wiped away? No nation has a richer or more consequential history of freedom and righting of wrongs than does the United States. It's why so many of the world's legitimately oppressed have come to our shores and continue to come. And yet, in the relative blink of an eye, our so-called leaders, who aren't fit to tread the same ground as our founders, allow ignorant and violent puppets to do the bidding of those who seek to destroy this country, wipe its history away, warts and all, so that they may replace it with their own demented version of utopia. No nation is or has ever been perfect, but the United States is as close as mankind will ever get. If we lose it due to cowardice and complete lack of foresight, we will likely never recover it, and the world will be much worse off because of it. The ignorant mobs of Black Lives Matter and Antifa ululate, word of the day, over being so oppressed, have no idea what true oppression really is. Perhaps all you faux oppressed Americans who are part of this so-called revolution should experience life in other nations, where you can't just commandeer seven blocks of real estate by force and then demand that the government you just took it from provide you with free food services and other amenities. I guarantee you would see a different response to your demands. Thank you for listening.